Welcome back, our spiritual agony aunts are back to solve your problems. Astrologer Gigi Sosnowski, numerologist Michelle Buchanan, and psychic medium Sue Nicholson. Now, we always run out of time, so I'm going to go straight to scenario number yep. one. Okay, okay. it's yeah. from Suzanne. She says, I've recently had my first baby and I'm off work. I'm thinking about what to do next. I have a good job in the corporate sector, but I wonder if I should get a qualification in teaching, nursing, or any other fields. What do you think? Or should I just spend the extra time on my hobbies? Will studying leave me with no time and energy for my baby and husband? But now, Sue, because you're sat next to me, I'm going to start with Okay, you. first of all, don't make any major changes, okay? Because the thing is, you need to enjoy the time with your baby. I'm being told in 18 months things will start to change. So you'll start to look at, you know, I feel the studying with the teaching nursing because you've got a really beautiful energy to be in a job where you're helping people, basically. And the other thing is, I see with the creative energy that you have, it's like keeping that as a hobby, but I don't see it to be a really big uh, money earner. But you need to have something that balances your life. With the corporate office, you're good there for the time being. And I also get, um, you know, they're saying study will be a big part of it, but just just relax. And the thing is as well, you know, everything will come to you, you know, in the right timing. So you've just got to be patient. It was interesting because at the bottom here when I was channeling, the spirit said just go with the flow every moment as things will just come together. And a card that came out for you is waterfall, effortless. It's just go with the flow. So that's great. It answered what you meant to be. do. So enjoy your baby. Thank okay. you. Yep. Sue, Michelle, get the calculator out. Yeah, I did. I did the numbers here. And uh, the great thing, Suzanne, is one of the reasons you're even drawn to being a teacher or a nurse is because you're a nine life path and that's when we add up the total of your birth date and that's what I call the compassionate humanitarian that's why you're drawn to do something that makes a difference in the community or in other people's lives and it's kind of like Sue same sort of thing and that, that you will do those things you're naturally gifted you were born to do these things as part of your life purpose but it's all about timing and I get that it's not quite the right time right now but it is the time to investigate what these study areas are you know what it needs from you what, how much of a commitment how much time you're going to need to put aside to study these things and everything will fall into place the more information you gain from those investigations so yeah you're definitely born to do this yeah it's just a matter of when <laughs> thank you Michelle Gigi what's in the stars well astrologically Suzanne you're coming into one of the most important and pivotal times of your life your Saturn return you are now entering a new time of responsibility not only to others but to yourself and this has a lot to do with planning your future your life directions and getting on track with that life purpose you really are coming into a time where you can understand more of the things that you want to do with your life explore more of those passions you have a wonderful chart indicating communication creativity imagination you do need to use that in fact you would be excellent at doing teaching educational realms things of that nature you have a wonderful mind you have a wonderful ability to use it and inspire others you're needing to do that but don't overthink don't over worry don't over consider all of the options and also try to build up a little more of that self-awareness and uh, lack of you know self-respect it's very much uh, an indication that in the latter part of September you're coming into amazing dynamic energies that are going to unfold many opportunities for new learning new awareness and new endeavors for you you will move forward with greater understanding of self and greater improvement and opportunity in your life shortly thank you Gigi now Angela's written to us she says my boyfriend of seven years has had to move to Melbourne for work he had been unable to find much work in New Zealand but walked straight into a good job over there and he's enjoying it my dilemma is do I move to be with him I have a great job here in New Zealand with good prospects and I would have to start afresh in Melbourne but I love my boyfriend so much I miss him terribly look I'm gonna answer this one Angela life's for living grab it by the balls go there what's the worst thing that can happen <laughs> Gigi do the stars back that up oh yes it does but interestingly enough I have to ask Angela um, when he left uh, did you discuss about you moving over there uh, have you discussed your future plans together after seven years you would think that perhaps he would give you some indication if you should follow him or perhaps what the longevity of this relationship is about you're very affectionate you need to be in a relationship that's very strong in your chart um, but you also have to be aware that you are very intense you are very passionate uh, you are perhaps a little jealous 
So you have to be aware of those things. You have nice energies together in your compatibility charts, but it also does indicate you have to be on the same page when it comes to long-term commitment. Make sure you are both seeing the same path for your connection together. Uh, there is indications of perhaps unclear goals or indications of uh, not necessarily seeing the same thing. So be aware of that. December looks like a great time for you to go over there and try it out. Visit. Talk about your future together. Possible relocation in March 2013. But make sure you have a job and make sure you're on track with your partner as you're seeing the same direction for your relationship. Thanks, Gigi. Pretty specific there. Michelle? Yeah, I can back that up. Uh, you're in a five-personal year this year, and that's all about change, movement. Unexpected change, things can come from left field, where your plans may not go the way that you thought that they were going to go, and that's to do with your career. Now, beauty about this is you're an eight life path, and the eight represents business, money, career. This means if you have a positive mindset about your opportunities and your potential with work, you will be successful in your career, no matter whether it's in New Zealand, Australia, or anywhere else in the world. So totally go for it. It's a time for change and movement and you will be successful regardless with your career. But be positive, okay? And believe that you'll get a good job over there and you will. Thank you very much, Michelle. Sue? Okay, well, he was meant to go, Angela. And the thing is, it's like he had to go. And I feel that this will actually bring you closer together. Now, I know you've got a great job here, great job prospects, etc., etc. But at the end of the day, you're going to miss your true love. That's what it's all about. And you're not going to be happy whatsoever in any job if you stay here. So what's, what Spirit was saying, this is another part of the journey of your life. So you just need to, I think you, you've got to make plans that when you're going to go there, you know, um, sorting things out, try and find a job before you actually get there but you know the thing is if you don't go you're going to not know whether this relationship will work out I'm telling you now he's not coming back okay he's just loving it there and there's great opportunities so you've got to go for it otherwise you're going to be very unhappy you've got to trust it's another part of your life another part of your journey and just don't fear it just embrace it and the card that came out for you Angela was um, dawnings new beginnings for you so it is great you know spirit uh, 44 cards and I just shuffle them, pull one out, new beginnings, new dawn in. So, great. Just go for it. And I wish you all the best. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank okay, you. You're welcome. Yep. If you've got a dilemma you'd uh, like help with, email the Destiny and Dilemmas panel at goodmorning at tvnz.co.nz and we'll put forward your problems to them. Right, now, back to tackle Adele, the fearless, feisty and fabulous eight-year-old... Hey? I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> I thought you'd have seen that coming, you're a bunch of psychics. I'm a right. <laughs> Here's Mia Downing. <laughs> we did it, we made the time.